Ford dealers. And welcome into sports, everybody. As if having to wait for seven rounds, 253 picks in three days wasn't bad enough. Tonight, Keevan Lucas had to wait even a little bit longer before finally getting his first shot to make an NFL team. Lucas hosting a draft party in his hometown of Abilene, Texas, was not drafted, was not expecting to be, but he was certain he'd get a shot as an undrafted free agent. Minutes after the draft came to an end tonight, Lucas making the big announcement, he'd been signed by the Buffalo Bills. Only a few minutes later, they called back. Concerns about his knee, injured in high school and at TU, compelling the Bills to withdraw that offer. I've always had that underdog mentality my whole entire life, my whole entire career, to be honest. So, I mean, it, it doesn't change. Now, I was thinking to myself, I mean, why, why would anything be different now? You know, um, I've always had to work my tail off to be the best. So, I mean, really, I just need that opportunity. Man. I just need that chance, that one team that's going to, you know, give me an opportunity to go out there and do what I can do. But wait, our story has a twist. Within the last hour, Lucas getting his shot, and what do you know, he's going to be heading to camp with an old friend. Evans teammate and TU's all-time leading passer Dane Evans also undrafted this weekend. He signed a free agent contract with the New York Jets tonight, tweeting out simply J-E-T-S. Two hours later, Lucas also invited to the Jets rookie camp for a tryout. How is that for something of a happy ending to the draft weekend? Lucas and Evans to the Jets, at least for a tryout. The Washington Redskins select Samahe Puri. <laughs> Running back from Oklahoma. Close. Well, he's not an Oklahoma fan, but he's a big Redskins fan. <laughs> Missed it by hey, that nice. much. <laughs> yeah, that was actor Michael Ely missing it by that much. Mispronouncing Samaje Pirine, that is OU's all-time leading rusher, now a member of the Washington Redskins, drafted today round four, pick number 114 overall. Pirine, one of four Sooners selected this weekend. That leads the Big 12. But that's not saying much. The league dead last among the Power Five with only 14 players drafted. Just four picks before P. Ryan, number 110 overall. It was D.D. Westbrook drafted by the Jacksonville Jaguars. The Bolitnikoff Award winner, the sixth OU receiver drafted in the last six years. As we know, Westbrook arrested for domestic abuse before arriving at OU twice, actually. Jaguars GM Dave Caldwell saying he has no room for error off the field. Speaking of that no room for error thing, and so it begins. Joe Mixon drafted last night by the Cincinnati Bengals, second round, number 48 overall. Already a TV station in Cincinnati, WCPO, calling on fans to boycott the team. The station's editorial board calling the selection indefensible. Mixon introduced in Cincinnati today. I learned a lot, a lot about situations, uh, being in certain areas that you shouldn't be around. I did a lot of community service counseling and I'm still, you know, still seeking it. So, uh, but at the end of the day, you know, like I said, I'm very excited on being here and having the opportunity to, you know, redeem a lot of things. Other locals drafted on day three. OU's Jordan Evans going to the Bengals in the sixth round, pick number 193. The very next pick, Oklahoma State's Vincent Taylor, big defensive tackle, going to the Miami Dolphins, number 194. In the seventh round, it was OSU running back Chris Carson. Drafted by the Seattle Seahawks. Lots of former Sooners and Cowboys go in the free agent route. Trevor Knight signing with Arizona. Maude Thomas, Jordan Wade, Oakland, OSU. Jordan Stearns, Ashton Lampkin go to Kansas City. Jawan Seals, Chicago. Blake Jarwin gets his shot with the Dallas Cowboys. And Owasso native Keon Hatcher caught 130 passes for those Arkansas Razorbacks. Signs a free agent deal with the Oakland Raiders. The Arkansas